If you have an old 1970s or 1980s portable analog TV laying around in your motorhome, don't throw it away. We're going to talk about how you can save it. It's been a while since we went in the old GMC motorhome. Let's take a look. I'm just storing uh, the Archangel Michael. We're just storing him in here for now. His, his wings are over there. I bought one of these little things, a 7-inch skillet, which I think is going to be work perfect for a little motorhome like this. I can remember back in the 60s and 70s, not everybody in America had credit cards. We had to get by on cash. This is going back to the 60s and 70s, these babies here. Beads, but it's got that really hippie look, 1960s, 70s hippie look. So let's get to the main story. You have an old TV laying around, an old portable 1970s, 1980s TV like this. Uh, you don't want to throw it away, but you know everything's digital now. So we're going to talk about how you're going to hook it up with a HDTV converter box. Let's see if it works. I think we'll put it right up here. I think we're going to move the glasses over. I think we'll move the glasses over. Put the TV up here and see how it looks up here. After I eat my lunch. Okay, let's uh, let's get started. We're going to check out. I think this is a nice little TV for this unit here. Correct me if I'm wrong, but hey, look at the size of that baby. It fits in there perfect. We got some extra antennas if we need. Found this at a garage sale just recently. The tea teapot to. Uh, Go with my other three pieces. Okay, let's take a look. We're going to see if we can get any channels here. Okay, let's figure this out here. So if you just try to hook up your analog, you got this old analog TV. If you just try to hook it up to your antenna, you're not going to get any channels again because they, uh, they went over to digital broadcast not long ago. So again, you have this old, uh, I'll repeat myself, 1978 analog TV you have to buy a DTV converter box you place the DTV converter box between the antenna and the TV and some pre 2007 HD TVs might also need this converter box also Yeah, I just wanted to show you that's the sound you're going to get if you don't have, you have to go out and buy these boxes Now I don't really I'm not going to show you the box. I don't have the box. I have to go out and buy it I think they're like $35 or something on the back of the box. They also say ATSC digital converter box Okay, so it's very simple between your TV that connection there, right there, that connection and your antenna, you're just going to put the converter box in there, connect it together. We, now, on this 1978 GMC motorhome, it has a connection right there for the antenna, and this is how you raise the antenna right here. Let me take the uh, disco ball. Let's take the disco ball down, and again, right up here, this is how you raise the antenna on the GMC motorhomes. Uh, and then you can hook your right there the back of the TV goes to that Connection there, which is, is the, to the antenna now on the back of these boxes the boxes you're going to buy they say on the back of them ATSC digital converter box Let's raise it Raise the antenna. And, uh, so I just wanted you to hear that because no matter how big your antenna is, you're not going to get any channels because they have converted over to digital TV. So just to make sure you know how this works, the ATSC digital converter box receives over the air ATSC digital TV broadcast and then it gives it to your analog TV. That's what the box is all about that you have to buy. 